when when did the Kabbalah become part of the Jewish mystical tradition? Well, um, Kabbalah is like a river running into a sea. It has many uh, streams and many uh, substreams that have um, found their way out of ancient times into the mainstream of, of uh, Hebrew and Jewish consciousness. So um, it depends on uh, where in the Kabbalah you are reading uh, do we find uh, a place maybe where the foundations of the Kabbalah are set. So some would say they were, the foundations are in the time of Abraham. Abraham. But of course, the time of Abraham, the Vedic age, um, uh, proceeds backwards in time, and these uh, uh, systems of uh, mystical insight didn't appear in a vacuum. And so, uh, in essence, we can trace the doctrines of the Kabbalah. We can uh, trace the doctrines of the Kabbalah back to the Garden of Eden itself, mm -hmm. and back to the initial revelation that uh, God um, gave to Adam, that first human couple. And the wisdom, the understanding, the, uh, the concept of um, searching into the higher dimensions of reality for truth um, was then set loose in the earth. And we have now come 6,000 years to where that pursuit of transcendent tr understanding is now resulting in our under, uh, it has resulted in the structure of the tree of life it has re resulted in all of the ideas that are, have been embodied in that symbol to which we now may gain access so again it's been an evolutionary process from the time of Adam to our own time but those are archetypal times we have returned to them everything that uh, we read in the book of Genesis and in the ancient Vedas uh, that had to do with uh, those earliest of revelations are simply being replicated in our time because we have returned in essence to the Garden of Eden and back to the root of the Tree of Life.